All right, so we have these roles that happen inside of, a, uh, inside of a conversation. Let's talk about some of the conversations themselves, how the conversations themselves move forward. Okay, the big one, right? The one that I think all conversation is ultimately based on is this idea of two people talking, two people in interaction, two people speaking, listening, and responding. Speaking, listening, and responding synchronously, meaning at the same time. Synchronous means they're doing it at the same time. They're face-to-face. -face. They're in real time. Those are always the saying synchronous. Things like um, real-time chat um, in audio, video, or in text, those are all, uh, those are all, um, I, those are all face-to-face, two-way, dyadic, sometimes it's called, um, conversations. And this is really the paradigm. This is the, the kind of the place that we all get to. And I think it's useful to understand also that it's probably the most powerful form of conversation. And think about it yourself. When you're talking face to face with somebody else and you're actively listening and responding, isn't that the most powerful way that, that you have of, of communicating? I think it's really kind of the fundamental way. Okay, so that's way number one, uh, a dyad, two people talking, listening, and responding synchronously. Next, what you might call broadcast conversation, where someone speaks and a lot of people listen. Arguably, what you're involved in right now is a broadcast conversation. I recorded this video. You're listening to it. Lots of other people are listening to it as well. And so there's one speaker and lots and lots of listeners. And then there may be a few responders. Like, for example, you might post a question about this video, or you might ask me something in class about this video, or you might call me up and say, you know, oh, I don't, I, I don't like what you said about that. That's a response, but, it's, but the responses are really pretty few and far between. In general, what's happening mostly is that there's a speaker broadcasting that message out to the whole world. Now, I'll contrast this idea of broadcast and narrowcast. In broadcast, it's the same message. This video isn't different when different people watch it. But suppose, suppose I knew enough about all the different people that were watching this video to include certain segments and cut out certain segments depending on who you were, depending on what I thought you already knew or what sorts of arguments might appeal to you or, or what, what directions you might like me to take it. Same basic message, but I'm customizing it based on what I know about you. That's the idea of narrow casting. I'm still the one speaker bringing it out to the large mass of people, but now the message is a little bit different. Same central thrust, but a little bit different depending on what I know about you, what I think about what, what would be best to give to you. Broadcast, narrow cast. Okay, so in that case, we have a single speaker usually, we have lots of listeners usually, and we have very few responders usually. So we have the one-on-one -on -one conversation, the dyadic conversation. We have the broadcast conversation where one speak and many listen. And then there's a few other ones that I'd like to talk about as well. This one you might call the party metaphor. Lots of speak people speaking, listening, and responding synchronously at the same time. By the way, the, 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 um, the broadcast one that I just talked about could be synchronous or asynchronous. It could happen in real time, like if we're in a lecture hall, or it can happen asynchronously now, where each of the different viewers, each of the different people watching this video, watches it at a different time. Asynchronous means not at the same time. Synchronous means at the same time. So in this conversation that we're looking at now, lots of people talking at the same time. They're speakers, they're listening, they're all interacting in kind of a crowd. It's like a party. And a party is a lot like that. Lots of conversations going on at the same time. People coming in, people coming out. Lots of people speaking, listening, and responding all at the same time together. Got the idea? Okay. Then we have the same thing going on. And, and what I just talked about was synchronously all at the same time. But now the same thing can go on. Lots of people listening, responding, speaking, and, and, and uh, listening, responding, and speaking. But they're not doing it at the same time. They could do it over long spaces of time like we see in a, in a typical comment thread inside of Facebook. So somebody posted a comment, and then over the next whatever it is, day, two days, usually doesn't last much longer than that. Why? Because after that, it's scrolled off the bottom of your screen and out of sight, out of mind on Facebook, right? But by, for, the, for the time being that, um, that this conversation is at the top of the screen, there's lots of people speaking, listening, and responding all, uh, all in their own time, asynchronously. So we have the two people listening, speaking, and responding synchronously. They can also do that asynchronously through chat or something like that over the long range. We have a broadcast where it's one person and lots of people listening, um, and it could happen synchronously or asynchronously. And then we have these two varieties of the party. There's the synchronous party, everybody at the same time in the same place. Doesn't mean that it's not electronic, right? It doesn't have to be a face-to-face -face party. You could be, in fact, a lot of times, and I'm sure you've experienced this, 
A lot of times these Facebook conversations are in real time. They're synchronous and everybody's on Facebook at the same time and there's just this whole huge conversation that's going on all in real time, right? So the synchronous versus asynchronous is not necessarily distinguishing one type of conversation from another. It's just that it's different modes for the same sort of conversation. Okay, then finally, this idea of um, many people speaking, listening, and repeating in an asynchronous way. So the classic idea here is the idea of telephone, right? Where um, I tell you something, then you turn around and tell it to somebody else, and we know that as people repeat, they don't always repeat with high fidelity, right? They don't always repeat exactly what they heard. They add interpretations to it. And in fact, I just heard the other day a story about, um, about how uh, as we repeat something, especially if there's a long time in between repetitions, so you tell a story and then a long time later you tell it again, that story changes significantly. And they gave an example of a guy telling a story and then a week later telling the same story and then three weeks later telling the same story and then the story three weeks later bore very little resemblance to the story that the guy originally told because it changes in our mind and we don't remember things literally. At any rate, I add this one, this kind of conversation, because it's very important. And in fact, a lot of what social media wants us to do is repeat conversations. And we'll see in a moment how that repeating happens. But I want to distinguish these kinds of conversations. In this one, it's, it's not so much that it's a party and that people are having this extended conversation going all over the place. It's the idea that the, the idea itself travels from person to person to person. And as it travels from person to person, it kind of takes on a life of its own and it morphs and it changes. So this is, the, this is the telephone idea, if you've ever played that game telephone. And in fact, you see here that this is a Norman Rockwell painting. I really love this Norman Rockwell painting because it really shows this idea, right? It's kind of the idea of gossip, that, that information is moving from place to place to place. And as it moves from place to place, it kind of morphs. Okay, well, 